Okay, so uh, this is a quick video just in case you need uh, a little help with regard to starting all of the things for the solar power potential project, showing you how to go about setting up your own geodatabase, your own um, folder connection, and make sure that everything is in fact saved for um, f in Google Drive for you. So, as you can see, I have ArcPro up in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and open up another project. And to access this project, what you're going to do is you're actually going to wind up accessing the Google Drive file stream. And you guys are going to go to Shared Drives. And you are going to find the Geospatial Science Data folder that is listed here underneath Shared Drives. So here it is. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to find Solar Power Potential. Go ahead and click in Solar in Glover. And the project itself is right here, Solar in Glover. So we'll go ahead and we'll click OK and we'll open that thing up. So as it is kind of taking a little bit of time, here's the project that is being opened. All right. So I went ahead and paused it for a little bit while the map was in fact being opened. So what you're seeing here is the brand new uh, map um, that is opened. And what I'm gonna do is over here, um, we're gonna go to the view menu and we wanna do the catalog pane. So here's my catalog. And what you should do is you should go ahead and expand databases as well as expand folders. All right. So what we have right here is all of this stuff is actually geodatabases that are set up in the shared drive. So to actually create one that's going to be yours, we're going to go over here to databases and I'm going to right click on database and I'm going to do new file geodatabase. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to my Google Drive. It doesn't say Google Drive for me right here, but usually it'll be labeled as the U drive. So if I click on that, I'll go into my drive. And what you should do is you should go ahead and create a new folder. And that new folder, you can call it Solar Power Potential. All right. And we'll go ahead and create that. And we'll open up that folder. And we'll create a new geodatabase that just says Solar Power. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and just click Save. So what that'll do is it'll actually add a new geodatabase over there in my catalog pane. And once it comes up, there's a couple of things that we want to do. First thing we want to do is go ahead and right click on that new geodatabase that you just made. And let's make that the default. So every raster image, every shape file, every whatever that you're going to create is going to automatically say, hey, let's go ahead and save it in that geodatabase. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and expand Solar and Glover, that original one. I'm going to do one click on Building Footprints, and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to press the Shift key and click so that I highlight everything. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on all those selections and I'm going to copy them. And after I copy them, I'm actually going to click on Solar Power GDB, that new one that you just created. I'm going to right click there and then I'm going to go ahead and paste. It's going to run for a little bit, and while it's running, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. Okay, so all of my stuff has now copied over into that geodatabase. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wind up right-clicking on the original one, and I'm going to remove it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to Building Footprints in my Table of Contents, and I'm going to hit Control and click on the DSM as well. I'm going to right click on those and I'm going to remove those as well. So I have a blank map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my new database. I'm going to click on building footprints and I'm going to hit control and click on the DSM. And I'm just going to drag both of those guys here onto the map. While that is being added, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll be able to pull uh, everything back up as soon as it's done loading. Okay, so as you can see, everything is done loading. There's a little bit of a difference between what we saw before um, and what we're seeing now. So let's go ahead and just adjust that symbology before we actually finish up um, you know, doing all these good folder connections and things like that. So the building footprints, we're gonna go ahead and click on this symbol. And when we click on that symbol, it'll bring up the symbology window. 
all right, over here on the side. I'm just gonna go ahead and expand that so we can see it a little bit better. And instead of going into the gallery, we're gonna go into properties. And under color, we're gonna bring this down and we're gonna choose no color. And under outline color, we're just gonna go ahead and choose one of these blues and then we'll apply it. So what that'll do is it'll change the symbology of all of those buildings. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wind up clicking over here on this DSM layer. Okay, and one click on the word DSM there is going to actually create this little window up here where it says raster layer appearance and data. So let's go ahead and click on the appearance and the transparency of this layer should be 40%. So I just highlighted that, pressed 40 and pressed enter. And there we go. So now we're ready to roll in terms of having everything kind of set up the way that it was before. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a folder connection. So this right here is the default folder that um, this project is actually hooked up to and that's actually in the shared drive as we can see. We don't want that one. So just like we added a geodatabase, let's go ahead and add a folder connection. So we're gonna right click on that. We're gonna add a folder connection and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our Google Drive go into my drive and we created that folder here that says solar power potential. All right, and we'll just click on that one time and then click okay. And that folder has now been connected. And what we'll do is we'll hit a right click on that and we're gonna make that the default. And then we're gonna right click on the one that used to be the default and we're gonna remove that one. So now you have everything all connected to your Google Drive, one step remaining. We're going to go up here and we're going to go over to project and we're going to do a save as. We're going to do a save as and what we can do is you can actually click on this folder right here because this will actually show the project folder that you just set up as being your default uh, folder. So we can double click that to get into it and then we can just say solar power potential and we hit save and that will actually take care of saving this project into your Google Drive with your new geodatabase, your new home folder, your new symbology, and I hope that was helpful.